Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Well, got started on this uh, hoverboard hydro project. And I wasn't sure how it was going to go, so I didn't show making a lot of the stuff, but I'll explain to you what I've done. So, this is going to be the intake. What the plan is, I don't know if it's going to work, but we're having a lot of fun trying. Um, I have a, a pipe like this in my pond, 4 inch sewer and drain, um, that's down probably 10 or 12 inches below the surface uh, that I use as one of the steps when I drain the pond. So, the water that's going down there has pretty good force to it and the idea is to run some sort of a propeller turbine type thing. I haven't figured that part out yet um, but this is what will be in the pond and I'm going to use a, a collar and that will fit over that pipe and this is something that I can just set in place and then there will be a bushing that drops in there and this bushing just fits in there so that will be on there like that uh, let, me lo Oops. let me lower you down a little bit that will be down like that and this will be the water intake and I went down and looked and the water goes counterclockwise when it goes down so I made these to kind of guide the water in the uh, proper direction and then on top of that will be another piece of four inch pipe and I'm just going to set this up on the table and we'll use this. This will go in here. Now this will be like 10 or 12 inches below the water uh, starting out. When it starts draining I'm sure it'll be less. And the, this height here is to be determined yet. But what's going to happen on the top side is this will be on the top of that pipe and then this will be mounted to this by way of this aluminum piece which I'm working on now and it will be supported by some uh, 5 16 bolts Well, I'll tell, you, I'll tell you about making this. Okay, so the sewer and drain pipe, if you have sewer and drain made out of virgin plastic, most of it nowadays is recycled, but you can find some that's still virgin. This is old from when I built my house. Still had a couple pieces laying around. So, you can, what I did is I cut a piece 12 inches long, and then I slid it this way on the table saw and then if you you take it in the house when the wife's not home and you heat that up in the oven you can unfold it and you get a nice flat piece of uh, whatever this stuff is PVC plastic or whatever and then that's what I used to create these and this was just schedule 40 because it's a lot thicker uh, piece I cut is 3 inches and then I drilled and tapped marked all that out, drilled and tapped it I just got some of the screws in now because I got more work to do on that and what else here, oh these are the pieces that were left from cutting 
cutting out those circles. And when I get ready, well, any place that's screwed is also going to be glued with the cement that's made for this pipe. So when this piece is on here, I'm going to use these as, as support. I'll cut them to the right length, and I'll use them as, as support also. And of course it'll be fastened all around here too. And then the generator in here, I'm going to fabricate something to go on this end um, so we can have a shaft coming down through and the propeller will actually be down here a ways. And I'm probably going to have to have a bearing down here at the bottom end and then we'll have the two bearings in this at the top end. So that's the plan. I got this paste laid out. Um, this is going to be for the support and this will be where this clamps in and I'm going to mill the slot out of here so that I can use this original clamp and it should put everything right dead center in the middle of that if everything goes right. So that's where I'm at so far. This is going to be uh, part of the mount for the uh, hoverboard generator. It's a piece of aluminum and I'll have a spot here and here to mount it on the flange and then the hole in the middle will be here with that piece of the square stuff in it. Of course it won't fit in my bandsaw so I'm going to cut halfway and then I'm going to turn it over and cut the other half and if it doesn't make it all the way through I can finish it on the regular bandsaw. It's like turning it over is going to do the whole cut and I'm pretty impressed. I don't know if you guys can see. But that looks like it's going to line right up with the, the other cut, which I did not expect to be that close. So i got to pay attention here so you don't come crashing down when it does cut through. Okay, there she is. There's just very little bit of an edge there. Really surprised me. Okay, I got the holes in the machining done on this piece that's going to support the generator. And I just got a couple of bolts thrown in there. Um, I don't know, I might use all thread. And, uh, you know, I can have a nut on the bottom and one here. And then one here and here. That way I can adjust it. And that'll be, you know, just so it's got enough clearance to, to turn there like that and if need be we'll see how it works I can put another set of supports opposite way if it becomes necessary so so this doesn't become a real long video I think I'm gonna cut it off here and keep creating and maybe get some of your opinions of what you think and maybe some opinions on what type of a um, end I want on that thing for the uh, blades, turbine, fan, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, you know, if you got any ideas, put them in the comments and uh, like and share and subscribe and. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.